Hi everybody and welcome to the walkthrough on EHR Go Learning and how you will submit your assignment in week 7. If you navigate to the week 7 learning module where I am right now, you will find the page called EHR Go Learning. We have created step-by-step -step instructions for you with images and circles and instructions of where to click and what to download if that is more helpful to you. But this video will also walk you through. Um, what you will see is that you will be completing work through the simulation, working through an activity with specific instructions while you work on the simulation, and then once you finish the activity, you will submit your work through the assignment Dropbox in a quiz format. It's an assignment, but it's in a quiz multiple choice format. You do not need to submit the MS Word file. You can see that both activities are worth 5% each, and both are due on Saturday by 8 p.m. of week 7. You can access the EHR Go links here, but I'm going to show you how to do them through the assignment Dropbox. So in the assignment Dropbox, you'll scroll down to Assignments, and then EHR Go Assignments. You can see the weighted values. So in total, Assignment 1 is worth 10% and then click on week 7 to access the simulation activities. Once the week opens for week 7 on Sunday at 8 p.m., you'll also see a, an activity at the bottom for the EHR Go activity quiz where you will submit your answers. Remember again, you don't have to submit the Word document that you will be downloading. So let's click on part 1. And if you have your access your subscription already, or you've purchased your subscription to EHR Go, you'll see the following um, page, and you may be asked to log in. You want to look at this page here. We're going to deal with tab one and tab two, and you're going to read through the assignment description. Once you're done that, at the bottom of this page are some resources. Every week, you'll have an activity to download, and sometimes there will be additional resources on various um, um, informational pieces that will be helpful for the study. So once you download this, I've already downloaded it here, and this is the file that you will see. Let's go to the top. So this one matches the topic for the week, EHR Go Learning or uh, EHR Go or EHR orientation. There we go. And what are our learning objectives and what are our instructions? So please note that some of the instructions here are not exactly what we at Seneca want you to do. These are created by EHR Go, so it's not 100%. However, what we do want you to do is go through the activity carefully. So the activity will often include some theory and some learning information for you to familiarize yourself with various components such as things like advantages of electronic health records. It all depends on the topic of the week. Once we get down to this page here, the getting started, we're going to orient you through, that's the goal of this activity, help you to become familiar with the layout of EHR. Uh, EHR Go specifically. Okay, so in this section, it, it gives you specific steps. So step one, we've downloaded this file. Step two, we're going to go back into EHR Go and click on New Session. So up here in the second tab, we click on this and then click on New Session. This will take you to a simulation chart. And the activity sheet here is going to work you through everything that you need to know about this chart. Okay, so as we work through this sheet, you want to have the simulation open if available. Uh, if you're able to put it side by side, that's always helpful. But it does provide you with information about the sections of the EHR with a visual to help match what you're learning about, and then some questions to follow up and help you to work through and understand the material. So you do want to, you do want to um, collect some of the answers. So for example, how old is Jane? Well, she's 76 in this case. And you can type in your answers if you want to on this Word document or just keep them somewhere safe um, in a notebook or whatever works best for you. You're going to work through all of these questions 
and understand the layout and become oriented to this specific EHR, okay? So once you're done all of the questions, and I think this one goes up to number 30, you're going to you're going to save your work and exit the EHR, okay? So just don't worry about this section, you can actually um, leave this out. So once you're done everything, you've completed all of the questions, you're familiar now with this orientation session, you're going to go back to the Dropbox. And this is where, uh, where are we? Here, you're going to now submit your work. We're going back to Assignment Dropbox, Assignments, and then EH Argo Assignments. So on this page here, Assignments, let's do this again. Remember, under week seven, once week seven opens up, you'll have access to the quiz. And that is where you will submit the answers that match with the Microsoft Word questions. You're not going to get all of the questions, but you are going to get some of them. Uh, remember, you don't have to submit this Microsoft Word document. The information here will be submitted once the quiz opens up in the EHR Go week seven folder. Okay, once that is done and you've submitted that through uh, Learn at Seneca Blackboard, then you have completed the activity for part one. Next, you need to move on to part two and do the exact same thing, work through the file through EHR Go, and then come back to this assignment Dropbox and submit your answers through the quiz format that will be found once week seven opens. If you have any other questions, please let your faculty member know. Thank you.